And then, you know, there's the Wentz acquisition to Washington. Um, I'll be honest, you know, you're a Washington Commander fan, and you're hearing, well, they're taking a shot at Rodgers. They took a shot at Russ. They've taken shots everywhere. It's Wentz's gig now. Uh, I wouldn't be terribly excited about it. Uh, are you? You know, I, I think there's two two aspects to it. I think you mentioned that. I think Washington, and I've known Ron, and I've known a lot of those guys for a long time. You know, right. They understood. I mean, Heineke was a great story. He's a great kid. Gave them some really good play. Brought a lot of energy to the group. But they, they all understood that at some point they needed to make. You know, they tried to bring in Fitzpatrick last year. He ended up getting banged up early, which made, you know, made Taylor play. But – I just think at some point they realized they needed to get better at that position and get a marquee guy in there, get some stability, and you know it's most likely not going to come in the draft. It's mostly going to have to be a free agent that they either trade for, either a free agent they can sign, or someone you know they tried to trade for Stafford. They tried to make a Russ, you know, make a run at Russ, and you know I, I don't so much think that settling on Wentz was the big issue. I just the part that I was that concerns me is that they pay his whole salary. So I think they kind of let Indianapolis, who you knew had pretty much given up on Indianapolis. I'd, I'd be curious about how the conversation went when you know a team has to dump their quarterback because they've already, in essence, made that clear that they're going in a different direction after just one short year. You you thought that maybe, Indy, you've seen teams in the past eat some of that salary of a big guy to try to get them off their own books and carry some of that cost. If they could have gotten Wentz at a reduced value because – it was being offset by Indianapolis, I think it would, the, the whole trade would be looked at a little differently. So I think right now absorbing that, you know, was it $28 million? That's a big number for a guy that you know, we saw play well at times last year, but the mark was always, can he play well enough when it matters and ended up falling short in the playoffs. So I, I think, I, I think that's a big gamble. I think it's interesting. He's very talented. I think we've seen him when he plays well, he plays really well. He's just got to find a way to, to not have the, you know, the, the down moments, right? The, the tough moments kind of sometimes outshine the, the positives. And when you're making $28 million and now you're on your third team, there's going to be a big spotlight on them. And obviously Washington feels like they can get the best out of them. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.